Hi, this is Martin and uh, we're going to have a little video here about showing how we use the network search tool within Device Editor. The network search tool allows us to search for devices on the currently connected ICANN network. It can be accessed by using the Tools drop-down menu, like this, and selecting Network Search. Or we can just use the icon on the toolbar here. It opens up in a window like this and we can just search the network using the search button and we get a list of devices that are actually on the network okay we get a count down here of the number of devices that uh, are actually visible on the network and they appear in a random order number depending on how they actually responded on the network but you can sort them into device number order by clicking on the top of this device column here and they will send they will appear in either ascending or descending order number you can do that with any of the columns along here we can also search for individual devices by using the filter so i can clear the list here and i can switch on the filter by clicking on the filter button and in here I can see that I've actually got segment 0, node 0, a type all devices of 0. These are wildcards and allow us to actually get exactly the same result as we had before. So if I just do a search now, again we will see 10 devices. I can use the stop at any time just to actually stop the search if I have found what I wanted to see okay if I found all the devices in my search notice I've got one device here which hasn't quite got all the information back what I can do here is highlight on here and then just do refresh and it will go off and complete the rest of the information so that's the use of the refresh button you might also want to refresh the search if you've renamed something elsewhere okay so let's look at how we can use the filter Right, let's first of all clear our list again and what I want to do is just maybe just find some particular device so I'm going to search and see if I can just find CAN sensors now I know there's only one okay but I search from take from my list here there's lots of devices in this list here if I know what devices I've actually got okay so I go to my 101 CAN sensor and I just do search and it just finds one device for me which is what I expected, I only had one. But if I had lots of CAN sensors, regardless of their device number, they should all appear in my list here. Now I can get exactly the same result by just searching by its segment number. So again, I'm going to put this back to all devices. And this time, instead of searching by device type, I'm going to search by segment number. So let's change this to be 205 which is the segment number of my CAN sensor. Clear the list again and do a search. And again, it's just found that one device, but this time not by looking for a particular device type, but purely by looking for by device, by device segment number. Now I can also search for a particular device. So I know my device here is 2056, right? segment 205 node 6. Okay, so I'm going to do a clear again and I'm going to put in 6 in here and I'm going to do a search and I just find the one device. And this time the search has asked to just find one particular device. So if you're not certain a device is present and you know the device number then you can search by an individual device. So just show you this again. I know I've got some devices here which are in segment 253. So I'm going to set this back to zero. I'm going to set this to 253. I'm going to clear my list and I'm going to search again. And I should have two devices. There are my two devices that are in segment 253. So a very useful feature. I might not want to see every single device. I can use the filter to actually look at particular devices, particular segments. Now I can't search by I can't use a, a node 3 and it find every device which is node 3. That, that's not an available option. 
I can turn the filter on and off. If I turn the filter off so that it disappears and now I do a search, I will find all the devices. So even though this, I didn't clear down the search in the filter, uh, I can still find all the devices if I collapse the filter back to where it was. OK, now the next thing we can actually do in here is we can actually choose to renumber and rename devices. So let's go to my CAN sensor again. I've decided that I don't want it to be 20506. Uh, I want it to be 10523, for example. So I can right hand, I can highlight the line, right hand mouse on the line, and go to renumber. And let's change it to 105. I can tab across to here. If it's blue, I can simply overtype. We'll change it to 77, and then I just hit renumber. And the device has now changed to 10577. I can also rename the device in here if I wanted to. This is particularly useful if I've got lots of devices and I'm just walking around uh, identifying them before I've actually loaded them all into my uh, uh, project. Or I want to renumber them without loading them all in. Don't want to spend that amount of time. So I can now rename it. And I could say, OK, well, it's the CAN sensor, but it's in the meeting room. Meeting room 3. I click on there. And now my device is the right number I want it to be. It's in meeting room 3. And I can move on to my next device. OK, you noticed I've got a bit of a spelling error here. So I'm going to rename this again. Rename. I'm going to take the A out of here. Click on OK. Now we're OK. Now the devices can be loaded into the project. You can either load them all in together. They're all checked here. And I could just hit on the read devices. But sometimes you only want to load in one device. So again, the other option would be to uncheck all of them and then just check one and click on read devices. Or if you just want to load in a single device, you can just double click on a line and it will load in. We chose that one because it loads very quickly. Okay, so now we can our search window has disappeared. Okay, we might have to go and get that again. Clicking on the magnifying glass. Now if we wanted to load in all of the devices that will actually take some time. So we can do that by if they're all checked we can just do read devices. We won't do that because it will take quite a long time with all of these. Let's just load in a couple of other ones using that method. So we, we'll choose that we'll uncheck all of them and we'll just check a few of them because they take a smaller amount of time. And now we just do devices. And they will all appear in our devices tree and load in all the data to create all the virtual information. Let's look back at our screen here. So we've been through roughly what it all does. It's a very useful tool. You can use it at any time during your uh, time when you're on the line. It's useful just to actually check that devices are actually present. If you can't find something or you get a miscommunication, then the option is just to go and look. And if you divided your project up into segments, you can just search by segment. Now again, that comes down to how you've actually decided to renumber devices. But it's a very useful tool. It's essential for actually loading devices into uh, into your project. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you found it useful. Hit the, hit the uh, thumbs up button if you like it and hit the subscribe button. That would be great. Okay.